Good evening, youth. This is Mr. Nick. Hopefully, you all are having a wonderful and awesome summer. I'm so glad that y'all are out of school. You made it. Yes, 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 yes. So, it's time to celebrate. Hopefully, you have an awesome summer. Tonight, I'll be talking about success, dreams, and goals. And before I start, I want to sing a little song that I wrote, that I wrote, Mr. Nick, myself. You get the glory. You get the praise, you get the honor, and I'm bless your name. Honor belong to you, Jesus. Glory belong to you, Jesus. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It all belongs to you, Jesus. It all belongs to you. But yeah, that's my Mr. My song. Okay, so let me let's get started. So success, dreams, and goals. So to be successful, you have to have the right mind of thinking. You have to have to know who to have in your circle, who to choose, who to let go of. And sometimes it might be somebody that's your best friend or that you really love that you have to um let go of so you can succeed and follow your dreams and goals. And I'm going to read this Bible verse to you. Proverbs 8 and 14 says, New Living Translation, Common sense and success belongs to me. Insight and strength are mine. So you got to have common sense with your dreams and goals. You have to think about it. So what, what are my dreams and goals? What do I want to do in life after middle school, after high school? When I start that next phase in my life, what do I want to do? Do I want to depend on somebody to take care of me? No, that should not be the answer. You should want to succeed. You want you want to follow your dreams. You should want to accomplish something, whether you want to start a small business or anything like that. And Mr. Nick, I'm working on my goals and success and everything. And then while I'm waiting for my for my time to come, I'm celebrating the rest of people that celebrating everyone else that's succeeding in their dreams and goals and misses and everything is coming to pass. I'm celebrating them. But to be successful, you're going to have to do something that you've never done before. That's point number one. To be successful, you have to do something that you've never done before. See, with me, I'm trying to accomplish this goal, but I had to like let some people go and let some friends go. Stop talking to some people for the, this goal that I'm trying to accomplish. It had hurt a little bit, but now I'm starting to see why and I'm starting to see what Jesus is doing. I'm like, okay. Because this year Jesus had really been speaking to me and I'm like, okay, I'm trusting you, Jesus. It's, I'm trusting you. I'm just trusting you and staying on your word and staying strong. So we all have to remember that too with success and our dreams and goals. We have to stand on Jesus' word. And, by, and believe by faith that he's going to bring everything to pass with us that he had promised us no matter what. So, point number two. Never stop, never quit on your dreams and goals. And never let no one talk you out of your dreams and goals. That's point number two. Okay, moving along. Success starts with you. That's point number three. Success starts with you. That's not point number three. Success starts with you. Okay, I'm going to read you another Bible verse. Proverbs 15 and 22, New Tribune's Translation. Plans go wrong for lack of advice and many adversities bring success. Okay, that's a good one. Do it, God. Okay, we're going to move it along. I have a quote for you. It's not from me. The bigger the dream waiting for you stepping into it your life is big your life is huge you have to believe in yourself and that's a good one that's the next one believe in yourself no matter what maybe daddy wasn't there for you maybe mom wasn't there for you maybe you was in foster care maybe you got bullied in school and things have maybe a teacher said something to you that was hurtful or something but believe in yourself like Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And that's my favorite Bible verse. Because with Jesus on your side, you can do anything. Because anything is possible. The sky is the limit. My God, the sky is the limit. You can have what Jesus said you can have. And you can have life and life more abundantly. Just believe by faith, youth. And I love y'all. And I thank y'all for listening to me. And I hopefully you have a great summer.
talk to you later. Bye.